Emotions run high in a Las Cruces courtroom. A former Las Cruces police officer will go to trial in connection with killing a man using a restraint technique he claims he was taught by his department. ABC 7's Kate Beery heard the intense closing arguments from the attorney representing Christopher Smeltzer as well as the state defending the man who died in his custody. After two days of intense arguments in district court, former Las Cruces police officer Christopher Smelzer will head to trial for murder. This is a very close case. It is a very important case. It is one that I have agonized over. Uh, it is one as a human being that is a difficult one to confront. It took an hour for Judge Casey Fitch to decide that there is probable cause to try former officer Christopher Smelzer for second degree murder. In February, then Officer Smelzer struggled to restrain Antonio Valenzuela, who was allegedly fleeing police. Vienna, that's going next week. Valenzuela died in police custody. The state confirmed he did have meth in his system, but the Office of the Medical Investigator testified that he died by asphyxiation. VNR? Yeah. Um, I wasn't able to get it because he kept tucking his chin. Yeah. Smelzer told officers on scene he was attempting to use a vascular neck restraint, but this excessive force expert disagreed. The application of the use of force in this matter was an armbar choke. It is inappropriate. It was at the deadly force end of the scale. He was trained in what he was trained in. Nowhere does it say this is something that's deadly, and if you use it, it's deadly and it's all on you, you will end up in a criminal court and be charged with second degree murder. Was he used a technique he knew as a trained professional could go very wrong very fast. And it did here. What he did was murder and he needs to be held accountable. Smelzer's defense attorney was disappointed in the judge's decision but said her team is ready to head to trial. Officer Smelzer meant to no harm to anyone. He had no intent to do any damage, to hurt anyone. He was doing his job that night using a technique that he was trained on. Two family members of Antonio Valenzuela were present in the courtroom but declined to comment on the judge's decision. That judge did issue a $50,000 unsecured bond to Smelzer. And of course, you can count on our complete coverage when this trial does begin. Reporting from 3rd Judicial District Court with our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, Kate Beery, ABC7. All right, Kate, and to watch the live stream of the full hearing, just head to KVIA.com.